Hey guys, welcome back to my space and thank you for watching another cleaning vlog in this life of mine. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how the boys room look cleaned and organized because today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to speed clean or master bedroom. If you're all caught up on my cleaning logs then you already know that we did move the boys on over to our bedroom and we went ahead and transformed this space into our new master bedroom. I know you guys haven't seen how our master bedroom is set up and you guys have a ton of questions. So today we're going to be sharing a speed cleaning video and I'm also going to be sitting down to answer some of your questions. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Vantasia and I share cleaning motivation, organizing, and motherhood motivation. If you enjoy videos like that, I would love to have you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. With moving into the boys room and having a much smaller space you guys well now this being our room we do have to keep everything under control a little bit more because we don't have that much space to just leave things around so with that being said i was just working on a few things left it out on the floor and our room was a complete mess you guys so i just want to go ahead and do a quick speed clean nothing like a deep clean though i just want to do a quick speed clean just so i can sit down and talk to you guys closet we decided to do something a little bit different we went ahead and put the TV in the closet it works out better that way because we do have a lot of stuff and we didn't want the room to feel so small with the vanity the TV on the wall and the bed in the room we will patch the hole up and fix it though once we move the TV as time goes on Jake and I we are going to be going through all of our clothes and decluttering and getting rid of a lot maybe donating majority of it while I was rearranging our bedrooms I did notice a lot of clothes and outfits that we don't wear or we can't fit or we don't really want so I will be going through just to get rid of those so we can donate it so we can make sure everything will fit into our closet even all of our super cute dress up clothes Give you one good time. On the side of our dresser here in the closet, I had all of our comforter, sheets, pillows. You guys already know what it is, but I wanted to go ahead and get it moved because it won't be right here. I just wanted to keep it right here until we can open up some of the space underneath our cupboard under the stairs. While I was cleaning our room, you guys, I ran across my Cardinals jersey and it made me laugh because my brother used to seriously wear this to parties whenever he was in high school and I miss him so much and I wanted to laugh during this, but it was nice to see while I was editing it back. Give you a good time.
clean the surfaces today in our bedroom. Of course, I am just using the same Lysol spray cleaner that I've been using. I have been loving this Lysol cleaner, you guys. Not only does it kill germs, but you can also refill the bottle 25 times. And the smell is amazing. So I keep using it. I love it. Once I was done cleaning, I just wanted to sit down and open up some of my packages with you guys. For some reason, I lost the um, password to my email, so I didn't know what packages I had. And I just wanted to sit down, see what all I had, set it out, and then I'll be sharing it with you guys in some upcoming videos. you guys that is the end of today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to talk to you guys in just a bit hi you guys and welcome back to my space and thank you for watching another daily log in this life of mine today i'm going to be talking to you guys about a few different things because things have gotten pretty serious ever since we've lived here at the apartment and i know that you guys have seen me just recreate some new spaces throughout our home however we might have to pack up and leave once again and find somewhere else that truly accepts us because jake and i we have been put in so many situations that our back truly feels like we are pinned up against the wall well at least i do i don't feel comfortable here and i feel like every single thing that i do even inside my apartment if anything that i post to my youtube channel or anything that i do outside of my apartment i am seriously being watched judged and we or potentially could possibly be getting kicked out because of some things that I've had going on on my YouTube channel on me but I have been dealing with a lot of different things and I have been trying to cope with those things on my YouTube channel and in my everyday life although I am trying and I'm doing the best that I can I know that you guys still have a lot of questions and I am having a hard time answering those questions because of how things are going in our everyday life I'm trying to fix them. I'm trying to fix things. I'm trying to work on things, but things just aren't necessarily going as I would have intended them to go. And I don't know how to honestly articulate every single thing that has been going on because it's a lot. It's honestly a lot. I find myself trying to be happy and trying to put myself in moods where I just think that things are going to be okay so that we can continue to do the things that we have planned to do. But in all honesty, things just aren't going down a good path. Jake and I, we're having, Jake and I, we are going through some really hard and rough patches that we and are trying to work through. And even though we are working through them, seeing ourselves through this situation has to be one of the most toughest situations we have ever gone through because we are dealing with situations with our apartment we're dealing with situations with our relatives and we're also dealing with situations in our relationship situations all around the board and i'm just going to be honest we are 23 years old jake and i we met each other when we were 13 and 14 years old so we have basically grown up together so it makes this situation so much harder on us because we have to navigate through something that neither one of us was truly taught how to get through and we also have to break a generational curse at the same time because we are dealing with so much so today i just thought i i would sit down at the end of this video and just talk to you guys and let you guys in on my feelings a little bit because we've had a lot of different things going on which has honestly caused me to take a break from my youtube channel and post different videos that are unique to me because for so long for so many years i have been putting my 110 100,000 50,000 percent 
for years now I have been putting a hundred and a hundred and fifty thousand percent in my YouTube videos and in every single thing that I put out for you guys and honestly these past seven months have opened my eyes to a lot I don't feel in these past few years even though that I have tried my best that I have gone I feel in these past few years I have set goals for myself and I try very hard to reach those goals but they haven't come to play thus far and now that I feel like everything is falling apart in my life and I'm trying very hard I feel like a little bit of the pieces are coming together on my YouTube channel but it's still so hard and today I just want to be honest with you guys about everything since the very beginning whenever I started my channel everything you guys see me doing right now with getting on here and sharing my space our home redecorating rearranging and doing different things and also taking pictures of myself and I don't take pictures of myself my husband take pictures of me and he does a super good job and I appreciate him I've always wanted to take pictures I'm not saying that I am a model but I've always wanted to be a model because as a girl I didn't feel pretty and whenever I take pictures that's a way for me to feel pretty everything that you guys see us doing now or me doing here on my YouTube channel I've always wanted to do this in the past I had friends that I talked to where I thought that we were all going to do it together and in actuality I was the person that was getting pushed to the bottom of the barrel and all of my ideas all of the creativity and everything that I had going for myself that I would try to accomplish it would literally get trampled over so with that being said it has caused me to really get down and it has also caused me to get so wrapped up in my own mind feeling like that I'm not enough I'm not good enough that I don't even know how to sit down and talk to you guys and tell you guys what I'm feeling without freaking out and feeling like I'm doing a bad job but now that things in our life are getting so tough and man I feel like I have nothing else to lose other than to try my best and to just reach out try my best and I know you guys have so many questions like why are my videos a lot shorter and you're giving me words of encouragement and you're also asking me questions like what's going on and I even have some of you telling me some things that are going on on YouTube and you know it's a lot to handle but I do want to let you guys know Jake and I we are dealing with a lot in all aspects of our life and we are also dealing with a lot with our apartment and just trying to find a comfortable space for us and our family we have gone through a lot in these past four to five months and We've almost been homeless, you guys. And even though I talk to you guys and I share with you guys that we do want to buy a house, we cannot necessarily just, we are not in a position right now to drop everything and to go buy a house. I wish we were, but it will still have to take at least a year until we can buy a house. We have been in so many situations that it hasn't been fun but I do want to let you guys know that that's why I have been filming and I've been working because I want you guys to know that I am trying and I want to work here on my YouTube channel because ever since I had to stop working at my other job someone else told me that if I worked hard enough I could achieve this or that it was so degrading so hard to hear because for one my husband and myself we both work very hard in every single thing that we do and we still have a hard time trying to get things and do things and we're trying the best that we can but it's hard so with that being said that amongst other things like the fact that okay I'm just gonna say it that a couple weeks ago maybe a month ago my husband he went through a very traumatic situation and I absolutely had to be at home with him because we had just moved to a completely different area and my husband seriously got a gun put to his face you guys a gun put to his face and it was the most scary and most traumatic thing he had ever experienced it was traumatic as well for me because I didn't even want to go to work I didn't want to leave him here and whenever I was trying to tell them at work that I needed to be home because we had just moved over here to this neighborhood and that happened to my husband we were freaked out I was scared to even let my kids go outside not only that but my son saw something else that was super scary which we got figured out and on top of everything else that I've shared with you guys about moving out here that we've had to endure with being here with this apartment it has been the most chaotic time of our lives and we are still just trying to navigate through that but today I just want to sit down and talk to you guys because it's been hard it's been hard and I don't know which way to turn other than to just 
do more work on my YouTube channel and try the best that I can to try to do my part. But I honestly already feel like what I'm doing isn't enough mm -hmm. enough because I have been pushed to the bottom of the barrel so many times that I feel like this is it. It's just hard. So today I just want to sit down talk to you guys about this because I'm here in this new space but I don't know how long we're going to be here. I don't know if we're going to have to pack up everything and leave and find a new space. But for now, I just wanted to update you guys and fill y'all in on what's been going on because it's been very, very tough. And I don't want you guys to feel like you have been in the dark. But the burn on my leg, the birth control in my arm, my mental health, my marriage, the apartments and other things that are going on in our life, it has caused me to really, I've been in shock to the point I don't even know how to articulate my feelings half of the time, but I am working through that and I hope you guys understand. So without further ado, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this small clean with me and just a mini life update series. I will be updating you guys very soon to let y'all know how everything is going because I don't know if we're gonna have to move yet or if we're gonna be moving to a different place. Go ahead and go back to where my family is, but I'm not sure. Either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh.